Santo Luna. Yes. Do you remember uh, last year when we went down to uh, Westin Gardens? Yeah, I love Westin Gardens. It's amazing. Can't see if we get one. That is a massive rice team, isn't it? It's the Costa Oil plant. Yeah, it's that's a enormous. fantastic specimen. I mean, there's obviously a, you know, four or five planted together here. And um, looks stunning on that. Would you remember that really lovely uh, Ricinus communist uh, plant that we saw there? Um, big, established, great colour on it. I'm not sure what cultivar it was, but I know you got uh, you particularly like those. So, so this year, I'm going to show you how to grow these lovely plants from seed. Hello and welcome to the channel and before we start don't forget to consider subscribing don't forget to tick the like button or share this video anyway so today we are looking at how to grow ricin communists from seed uh, commonly known as the castor oil bean castor bean plant although it's not technically a bean but uh, it's a great plant showed you earlier in the video it's lovely lovely red leaves and that's why we like it um, you don't tend to see these being sold around anymore. You still see a few being planted, but you don't seem to uh, see them being sold because there is an issue with the bean. Now, Lorna. Hello. Do you know? Do you know? I think you do know what the issue is. I do know what the issue with the bean is. Yep. Is, uh, hang on, let's show the beans. And they do actually look very much like, um, you know, tiny broad bean seeds. Um, they create ricin, which is a poison. So yeah, um, you can grind it up. Poison. Yeah. And you can actually, you know, a bit like anthrax, I think people used to grind it up and send it in yeah. letters or whatever. It was uh, something that was quite uh, in the news about maybe 20 years ago. So they stopped producing it. Um, mm. And uh, that's why, because of uh, the toxic nature of the beans when they're ground up. Yeah, that toxin is actually water soluble. So if, uh, if you're handling them, you should wear gloves. Mine yes. are invisible. Oh, no. But I'm wearing gloves. Always wear gloves. Um, okay. Oh, just one quick thing. Um, there, there's a, there's an order of lice also called ricinus and um, and I heard this because that the ooh, that the the bodies of the lice uh, look like the um, the seed itself but what I'll do is I'm going to throw you up a picture of a tick um, because I don't think they look like lice at all but there are ticks that look like these very weird anyway enough right. so they obviously what a defense mechanism they look like a poisonous bean so people don't eat them oh, I've got Okay, just wondered. Yeah, I haven't got my mind or they inside eat the, the mind so they're disguised. Of the tick. So, yeah, well, it could be, you could say be. that. <laughs> You're very, it anyway, to, uh, to begin with, right, um, you need to soak them. Soak them for I don't know, 6 12 hours or overnight in mildly warm water. What I've done with these, I put these into the airing cupboard because I know the airing cupboard is warm all the time. So it's a good 20 Amazing. degrees. I leave them overnight. It doesn't need to be quite that long. You could leave it like 6 12 hours. But anyway, so these have been soaked thoroughly. Okay. Because it it's a tropical sort of Mediterranean plant, because they're native to the uh, the Mediterranean mm. basin, East Africa, India, mm. that sort of area. Um, if you want to grow these this year, then you've got yeah. to get them started early. And to get them started early, the only way to do that is to use the heated propagator. Yeah, let's show me, let's have a look. Yeah. All right, well, this, this is a very basic heated propagator, and do is absolutely so fine. Plug there. So we've got a lid with a vent in it. Okay, that's typical. So this is obviously... Ooh. A mat. Okay, yeah. To soak up water. Yeah. And you see I've got a lead and a plug on the end yeah. of this. That's because in here, there is like a, a, a wire, a heated wa wa coil of wire in here that yeah. acts as your, your, as your heat source. But yeah. to get the heat into the base, yeah. or these, um, we need to have, it needs to warm up some water, yep. which is why you have the mat, so you keep the mat moist. Moist, yeah. And then you keep the seed tray moist. Oh, okay. And depending on what you're growing, we'll either do better in just a tray or do better in these. I do like using these, but make sure. Cell packs, yeah. Yeah, because once they've grown and germinated and grown, they can yeah. just pop out and you don't need to disturb the root you? system. No, they're I like great. Anyway, but for this, um, yeah. we're going to use, we're going to use this because it fits quite nicely in here. Okay, we've got some compost. Yeah, so make sure, always make sure your equipment is clean and sterilised yeah. because um, young seedlings in a humid environment, they can get fungal diseases. 
and, uh, and always use, if you can, fresh compost, because compost out the bag is, uh, would have been heat sterilized before it goes in, so the compost is also sterile. Look at that, lovely. Okay. Always check the corners, because the corners always tend to be a bit light. Flatten that off. Right. Um, so we've got six, so I'm going to put six, six holes. Now you plant these quite deep. Okay. You know, about an inch and a half. So you're looking about mm. that deep. So it's quite deep. So they Ready? go right, right, down. right down there. Yeah, but I suppose they have big seeds, aren't they? So they are quite big seeds. It's still about three times the depth, isn't it? So yeah. So I'm using this pen to act as a dibber, and I'm kind of putting them right, right down low. Yeah. Okay. Right, so these are the ones I want. The pre-soaked. Pre-soaked ones. So, drop. They drop. look great. So, how long for germination? Okay, germination, um, usually, they, they can't, it's, it's sporadic germination. They won't all come up at the same time. Okay. So, you can expect your first seed to come up between a, uh, a week or two. Okay. And then, really, they'll start, they'll keep coming up for like, the next month. Um, and they need to be kept at approximately 20 degrees, so it's warm enough for it to start germinating. So all we do now, oh. is we water. water that in. Okay. And depending on how much you water, up a little reservoir of water on the base there. Okay. So that heats the water up? Yeah, so it heats all this up. And that's what's creating all the steam. That's how you transfer the heat from yeah. the coil into the, the soil. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. So so your um, so it's the rooting environment is what needs to be warm. So yeah. and, and this is an automatic one, I don't need to set a temperature. It's gonna be anywhere between 18 and 20 degrees, which is absolutely fine. And while you're waiting for germination to occur, for this one. Okay. Keeps the heat in, maintains yep. humidity, yep. and you close the vent. Close the vent, yep. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer myself through time into the next okay. four weeks. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Has it been a rough four weeks? Four weeks? I Has it been really so tough? Tough. I feel old. Oh. My hair's fallen out. Oh one my grey. goodness, look at you. Time. However, You're a there wreck. Is there is good news. Oh. Look at this, as if really? by the power of YouTube magic. Check this out. <gasps> hey. Oh, these are hey. Icena seedlings. Yeah, they're Icena seedlings. Oh, let's have a look. They're quite big, aren't they? They are, they are tough, chunky boys. They are dead tough, all yeah. girls. Um, they are dead tough. Yeah, there might be an issue here. Yes, right, Simon, Look, at, look him in the eye. Look me in the eye. He assures me uh, these are red. They are supposed to be red. But I tell you, they are looking pretty green. They are green. And they're very vigorous. And I always know the green ones outcompete the red ones. They're much more vigorous. The whole plant is larger. If you look down and look at the stem. Yeah. There is a lot uh, of red pigment slowly creeping its way up. So I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've germinated these. Mm. So um, I'm not sure what to expect. I always expected them to come out red, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are gonna come out red because they're uh. seedlings. These leaves are currently packed with chlorophyll. Uh, so, so they are gonna use as I much- I say they're green. They are green. You say they're probably red. I'm hoping they're gonna red. be red. We did buy a red. Did yeah. buy red. We did buy a red. It doesn't actually. We've bought a lot of plants that don't quite look like they do. It wouldn't be the first time that no. you've been stitched up by a nursery or a supplier. <laughs> it really wouldn't be the truth. So we'll find out. That's all part of the excitement, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, but, yeah. but we found it extremely easy to grow. Yep. One thing I want to say is once the seedlings emerge in the soil, open up that vent to reduce the humidity, increase ventilation. Yeah. And there you go. And really, and how long before we plant out? Well, you see, I don't even see here. You see the, tr see these are the the uh, what are they called? Cotyledons. The, yeah, the cotyledons. Oh. Well, you get the true leaves. Monocots and dicots. Yeah, with the dicots, the true leaves are just coming through. Can you see yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And once they start to get a bit bigger, then I'm going to 
pop these on, I'm going to prick them out. Yeah. And I'm going to pop them on. And then we're going to They are very bean like. I mean, I can see why yeah. they know the beans, oh, the beans, the seeds look very bean like. Yep. There you go. There you are. They're, they're, oh. I hope you'll note that he's put those in my peanut bowl where I normally eat my peanuts. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I'll take those straight The out. poisonous beans are in there ready for me <laughs> to uh, enjoy later. And um, there's a poisonous plant which he's touched with his hand. So there you go. Indeed, Perfect. Right. So uh, I'm going to stop there. Possibly join us for the next one. I'll wash my hands. Yes. And, uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching if I hadn't said that already. Thank you. Bye-bye.